The Nephilim. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. People are suffering down there. I have to act now. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. Tell Tyriel to meet me in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear it. Oh, the world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? the guard was struck by the Maiden's magic. I heard the sound of his screams until his flesh dissolved to nothing, and only his armor-clad skeleton remained, his jaw unhinged. Blue mist swirled around his bones, coalescing into new flesh. When at last I cut him down, the phantasmal flesh exploded, leaving only a pile of armor behind. The gates! Though this Reaper wields a dangerous sword, its shield, with its rows of razor-sharp spikes, poses the greater threat. With a single thrust, it can open a man from waist to throat. That shield was not made for protection. It was made to cripple, maim, and kill. of the world. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. Any survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the demon hunter who saved Bastion's keep. You'll save us too, won't you? You have my word. What is it?
Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no. Well, with demon blood must die. <laughs> Is she mad? They were innocent people. I'm innocent. and darkness spread across my vision until all I could see was blackness. It gave way to a pale light that sapped my strength. It seemed so easy. But instead, I drew upon the last of my will and fought back. Color flooded back into my sight. The shadow was right before me, and I drove my spear through it. The Revenant Shield Guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV, appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms. They accompanied the king at all times, resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. As Malthiel has imbued them with the ability to sense the living, Revenant archers do not rely on their vision to find their targets. There is no place safe from their sightless gaze. They will find you through stone, wood, and even the ground itself. And once they have their quarry, they do not miss. Tyrael's been around a long time. I'm sure he's seen worse than this. You won't survive that! Raise you. Defend the church. Repel these vile reapers. found you. Tyrael, why is Malthael attacking the city? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. We are the descendants of angels and demons. Malthael sees only the evil within us. The church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akarat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What is that thing? A death me! Stop her! Never no, no, no. Your souls will be mine. Any other archer would have fled as I charged, but this one stood its ground, staring down the arrow shaft through lifeless, empty eye sockets. Even as I swung my blade to take off its head, the thing loosed another shot. How can we fight an enemy that has no fear? nor thought for its own self-preservation. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. 
It is the key to Malthiel's victory. I'm overburdened. I will not stand for this. Where is Malthael? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there any way of knowing why he wanted it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Do what you can. I will save the city from Malthael's forces. The Haradrim have returned at a strange time. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. Evidently. Malthael, my brother. He was wisdom, leader of our council, first among angels. And now, he has become this. How is that possible? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Either way, it's disturbing, and I will stop him. The dead deserve peace. That sliver is just a fragment of the Black Soul Stone. How can it help us? The sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. What exactly was that Death Maiden trying to do in the Cathedral? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malfail's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul Crucibles. With two of them, Malfail has an endless supply of soldiers. Until I destroy them, then he will have none. The Soul Crucibles turn the dead into Reapers? Sadly, yes. Even the Death Maidens? Their story is as tragic as Malfail's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. We stayed to fight, Robert and me, but it fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Everyone runs. The question is, what will you do next time? At long last, a hero comes to save us. That won't bring my wife back, though, will it? My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rackus, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Rackus was a clever man, after all. Westmarch originally grew from the efforts of the great general Rackus to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zacharum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. 
They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. Do you hear something? Is there anything on your mind, Hadric? Yes, actually. I'm just remembering what happened in New Tristram after the Falling Star hit. I'd never seen Mira so scared. Leah came by later, telling us there were wounded men at the inn. And your wife still went to help them. Someone came for me, after all this time. My friend Hadrig heard you. Bloody miracle! Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I owe you both. Follow me. It's safe up there now. I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. I know that look. Something's bothering you. For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? A man who did what he believed was right. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. You ask who's to blame for this doom? All of Westmarch, reveling in sin, worshipping petty idols. The Zakarum are gone. And the Order of Malthael now rises! Praise Malthael, and your souls may yet be saved. He spares only the faithful. Donate to the Order, and prove your conviction. It is good to see you again, though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. For a moment, I heard one of my sister's voices. I could not make out the words. I used to think I heard my father calling for help. Or my sister sobbing. It's only grief. You will move on. My sisters are gone now. And I am the last memory of a world long since forgotten. You don't even know what happened to your sisters. So they linger in your thoughts. Did you grab the jewelry, at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us! Well, I would rather be dead than poor. Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and no, he won't go away. Well, you've saved his life. Perhaps he's grateful. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. Like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now... It's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. Why would the angels do this to us? What are you saying? This is obviously a demon's work. Duncraig is just death in horror. I thought I'd be safe here, but we've nowhere left to hide. 
After years of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the High Heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyriel has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. I smell treasure! This cannot be opened yet. Well, Necromancer, are you fighting for the living or the dead? I strive to maintain balance between the two. Death's minions threaten to overwhelm the living, so they must be culled. This beacon will draw many of Death's soldiers here to their demise. I was about to activate it. Allow me. of the exorcists of Westmarch, those spiritual warriors specialized in removing demonic possession. By custom, they arrive in darkness, clad in cloaks as black as the night that conjured them. They work in secret, extracting the demons that dwell within their subjects. Now, Malthiel has turned them, and they roam the city in their inhuman forms, stripping the souls from all they encounter. I used to know someone from here. Who is that? An actress from the theater. And her performances were always perfect. Must 
must have fled the city by now. It's time for the people to rise up. Have you lost your mind? The city is on the brink of ruin. But this is our chance to get out from under the king's yoke. Thanks for helping, but this isn't over. The king has filled us all. If you don't believe me, read this, his private journal. And how exactly did you find this? Well, let's just say it's from someone who cares about us common folk. I'm so weary. Why did you have to die, brother? I was never meant to be king. The nobles threaten revolt to bend me to their will. They will abandon me if I don't keep the peasants in their place. Oh, my position is hopeless. When I first beheld the corpse razor, I thought myself capable of defeating him. Then he reached out his arm, and the ground in front of him was bathed in a spectral light. The bones of men and beasts rose from the earth and advanced on me. I encountered the most troublesome bats in the caves outside Westmarch. My companions and I had sheltered there with the intent of organizing my many records, when the miserable creatures appeared and tore several of the scrolls to pieces. Truly, the world shall be a poorer place for this lost wisdom. an enemy over there. We are in for a fight. After Malthael's disappearance, the Angiris Council appointed his most loyal servant, Urzael, to find him and bring him back to the High Heavens. Urzael, accompanied by the sect of maidens who were Malthael's closest followers, set out to find their absent master. They never returned. Feel my wrath. need more. 
more discipline. Some of my men are pinned down in the courtyard, fighting revenants. Please help me rescue them. Why this is happening? It's madness! Bring your men to the survivors' enclave at the cathedral. Go! I am too low on discipline. Sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another while allowing their brothers to starve. If their true power is ever released, we are all doomed. They have a choice between good and evil, and they overwhelmingly choose evil. Much. This isn't what I meant. That Death Maiden is controlling the Soul Crucible. Not for long, though. You're right about that. in time to save me. But how? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vechen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. There's no easy way to say this, but I have to leave, and I won't be returning. You really think I'll let you get away with that? I'm serious. A brother's imprisoned in Kingsport with no way to defend himself, and I must free him. You won't be able to get there if Westmarch is overrun. We have to save this city first. All right. I'll stay for as long as I can, but only because I know how much you need. 
Malfael, he's watching you. I grew disgusted by humanity during my time on Sanctuary. When at last I found Malfael, I was not surprised to learn that he felt the same way. We will cleanse creation of the scourge that is humankind. And when we are finished, the tragic mistake of Anarius will be gone. You need to get to the survivors' enclave. Malthiel's Reapers are everywhere. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. on me before I knew it. The mass of its bloated flesh soundless as it floated above the ground. When I finally noticed it, I could not move. It was as though I was trapped in a waking nightmare. I looked down and saw tendrils of energy wrapped around my feet and realized it was not fear that held me, but the Seraph's magic. Betrays you. You filth! You want some 
survive that. I see you have much guilt over Leah's fate. How did you hear about her? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume you. You have a lot to learn about me. Such the artist when it comes to dispatching death's minions. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. May I join you? Urzale. Urzale. Urzale is the angel who commands Maldale's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. Very well. We should go back to the Enclave and see if Tyriel has made any progress with the Sliver. I am returning to town. My best hammer's gone missing. We couldn't have walked off on its own, though, could it, lad? One of the men needed a hammer. He promised to return it. Fool boy! I'll never see it again! I'm sorry, Heydrig. <sighs> Get out of my sight. I don't feel like talking right now. I heard Tyrael is an angel. Why isn't he helping Malthe? Well, who said he isn't? It's time for me to go. My brother will die in the Kingsport dungeons if I don't act now. A Kingsport prisoner, you say? Hmm. Those poor devils were all transported to our cells in Westmarch last week. But we haven't heard from the garrison since the attack started. Edlin, I have to find him. Will you help me, my friend? This is where they're holding Edlin. Let me do the talking. <laughs> Looking for your brother, Lyndon? Wait, this isn't right. The Thieves Guild always finds who it's looking for. The Thieves Guild infiltrated the entire dungeon? Enough discipline.
Suits me. Edmund! He's... I'm so sorry, Lyndon. I never should have joined the guild. He told me, but I wouldn't listen. It isn't your fault. Your brother was killed before we came to Westmarch. That dagger looks very familiar. Take it with you. I know it's difficult, but we must go. Please don't blame yourself for this. Nothing good will come of it. What do you want me to say? That I wish he'd never known me? That I wish he'd had a brother who didn't fail him? That you carry the weight of grief. Grief? You left your grief behind when you became a noble hero. You don't understand the rest of us anymore. Could it be that the Prophet abandoned us? Why else would his magic fail to protect us while we slept? It didn't fail for you. But my sisters died. Why them, and not me? There's no meaning in tragedy, Irena. Some live, some die. It's a matter of chance. I cannot believe that. There was a reason, and I will find it. When I left my sister Lysa, I took her magic focus as a reminder. I scryed it today, to see if it held any clues, and I found strong traces of the demonic magic that killed her. It reminded me of the Fischerai's magic, from before we served the Prophet. Those mages have been dead for centuries now. No one remembers them. When I cast the magic upon her focus, I heard her voice again, and this time, I understood. She said one word. Irena. has foreseen our victory. Let us seek our fortunes together. I have heard that the Grand Maester himself is in Westmarch. It is imperative that I find and speak to him. I will tell him of the sins his order is committing. If he's the leader of the order, he probably knows. No, you are wrong. My first memories of being a Templar are of him comforting me, welcoming me to the Brotherhood. I looked into his eyes. He is a good man, I tell you. Today is the day I find out how deep the Order's corruption runs. It's settled then. Go and confront your brothers in arms. I will do it, even if it means going against my entire Order. I could use a good friend by my side. How about two? This is one of our strongholds. I will have my answers soon. I just hope you're ready for them. Cormac! Everyone says you helped slay Asmodan and Belial. They're calling you the greatest of all the Templar. It's good to see you as well, brother. But I come with troubling news about the Order. I must speak with the Grand Maester. You're in luck. He's here. Standing orders are to send you to him upon your return. Take this, the Grand Maester's new proclamation. Done us all proud. This proclamation from the Maester, it's damning. He admits his own guilt. How could I have not seen this? Oh, we all make mistakes. You just make a lot of them. The day of reckoning is at hand. We will rise from the ashes of Westmarch and lead mankind into the light. We shall have recruits by the thousands. Every citizen will be another Templar added to the cause. Once cleansed by the Inquisitors, they will become an unstoppable force.
had nothing to do with John Dar's corruption, Cormac. You're a hero. Our time has finally come, and we owe it all to you. Bring me that whip. It is time to purify this initiate. Stop! How can you do this to your fellow Templar? We bless them with the truth, as we did for you, Cormac. But if the greatest of all Templar wishes them freed, it shall be so. We've been ordered to take you to the Grand Maester as soon as possible. Follow me. Cormac, the shining example of a true Templar. We have much to talk about. Yes, we do, Grand Maester. You have betrayed us all, starting with the torment of our initiation. It was brutal but necessary. I did the hard things no one else would for the ascension of humanity. I carry the weight of my actions with me always. Are you ready to make a similar sacrifice, Cormac? Will you stand with me and become Meister in due time? I need you. But... and I... No! Your power has driven you to madness if you think I would help you rule over mankind! This saddens me greatly, my son. I am sorry. Kill him. Hey! I'm the only one who is Cormac around here! Man is a flawed being. Time and again we have seen good men give in to temptation. Though it is painful, I have found only one answer. We must cleanse the minds of our recruits, so they will never fall prey to the corruption of the demons, or the blind self-righteousness of the angels. Dedicated my life to a lie. Everything I thought I knew, it was all in the service of a madman. I swear that every Templar I meet will be freed from the lies of the Order. And if they refuse, I will be forced to convince them. I can help with that. I'm terribly convincing. Behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. That's how they kept you from asking questions, I'd expect. A vile tactic. But now you are free to leave the Order behind. What shall you do? I believe in you and your quest. This world must be saved, regardless of the corruption of the Templar. This truly the work of angels. I don't understand. How could they? The angels pledge not to interfere with humanity. This one broke his word, and he will regret it. Good. My mother warned me about the poor. They want my wealth, but they don't want to work for it. And now they've created an army of death creatures. Well, when I'm king, I'll just show them. The 
Do you think that Leah is lost forever? Diablo consumed her. She is gone. Do you not think Leah's soul is stronger than that? But oh, but then sometimes I I forget that you have not seen everything that I have seen. You always dodge around the truth. Who are you? Uh, what am I? I am covered as Shen, of course. Uh, no more, no less. To some that has meant one thing, to others another. When will you give me a real answer? <laughs> when the sun sets in the east and the shore swallows the tide. Uh, when the moon smiles upon the day and the blind man sees once again. Of all my companions, you are the one who is still the greatest mystery. Before I face Diablo, tell me who you really are. I think we understand each other perfectly. Why bring the truth into it? You are right. Behind that smile, I see a man haunted by his past, much as I am. But I also think the world could do worse than have you for a god. What a nice thing to say. A and to return the favor? I, I do believe that the world could not do better uh, than to have you as his savior. At any rate, when you defeat Diablo, don't laze about. We have other lands to explore, you and I. Dirge's jewel is still out there somewhere. Did you know there were once two moons? Lyria is the one that is no more. <laughs> I think it's time I told you the whole story of Zai and his master, the god of desire, Dirgis. You've never told the whole story of anything in your entire life. It, it, well, no. But Dirgis' jewel has appeared again, and the time for secrets is over. So you'll finally tell me if you're a god? <laughs> I was telling you about Lyria, wasn't I? Uh, oh, she was so beautiful that Durgis was determined to make her his own. Oh, yes, he pursued her relentlessly, showering her with gifts and attention until she succumbed and agreed to become his wife. But Durgis' jealousy was so great, he hid Lyria high in the heavens, far away from the reach of men and gods. Only a fool would let his desires run that deep. Mm, yes, that was Durgis. Desire was his very nature. Zai was the greatest thief, and he wanted Lyria. He waited patiently for a night when Lyria's path hid her behind the silver moon. For when the sun set, Durgis had to leave Lyria's side, you see, for desire rules the night. He could only watch from below as she drifted across the ocean of stars. Then Zai climbed, silent as a whisper, into Lyria's palace in the heavens. Had he fallen in love with her? No, but stealing from Durgis would make Zai a legend. Uh, have you been eating enough? I I've noticed this about you. When things get difficult, you get very focused. Uh, maybe I'll cook for you. So, uh, if it's all the same, we'd probably both be happier if I didn't. Those who perish without embracing Malthale are eternally damned. But I can commune with our Lord. Asking him to grant them a reprieve. Only a simple payment is required. Bless my poor husband, please! You must save my children! Please, my friends, one at a time! Bring your offerings to the stand, and I will grant your loved ones this blessing. We're not going to die, are we? Tell me we're not going to die. I don't want to lose my soul! Hmm, you are a quiet sort, Serena. Hmm, sneak back home and fetch some of our savings. But the streets are crawling with those horrid creatures. 
That's precisely why you must go, dearest. Nobody notices you. Why fight so hard? Thousands are dead. What do another dozen matter? And now I hear those Reapers are taking people's souls? This is madness! If you hadn't come along when you did, I don't know what might have happened. It was the least I could do. Anyone would have done the same. But you didn't have to help. You could have run right by. Can I ask you about Deckard Kane? He was a great ally, a guide. He never wavered. Had he lived, things might be very different. Could one man make such a difference? Now is not the time to speak of this. We have a city to save. I am sorry. Tyriel told me of your actions. You killed Diablo himself. I battled the darkness in all of its forms. That particular one was difficult. I don't know that the world will ever understand what it took to face such pure evil. Nor should they. That is the work of demon hunters, my friend. My father was the commander of the Knights of Westmarch. He assumed I would become a soldier, just like him. But your heart was not in it. I grew up on stories of the fearless Horadrim, Tal Rasha, Jared Kane. That was what I wanted to be. My father thought it was all myth. Wasn't he surprised when I actually became one of them? I'm surprised that the Swords of Westmarch were able to last this long. You... are from here, aren't you? I was. You have returned to us in our darkest hour. Many good soldiers have sacrificed themselves. And yet you still live. I know you will be a great help to us, Hunter. Why haven't you received reinforcements from Bramwell and Kingsport? They are loyal to the Crown. Have you not heard? Cities everywhere are under attack. No place is safe. Yes, Malvale strikes all across Sanctuary. I did not know. That is... disturbing. Look, the Sliver is changing. Malvale is altering the Black Soulstone, isn't he? Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? I need to know what he's going to do next. That's the only way to stop him. the souls of Westmarch. Where can I find him? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before you set up the kill, you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items for you. Do you know anything about Urziel? He is Malfael's lieutenant, much the same way that Iswal was mine. He does his master's bidding without question. 